Ah, it's a good morning, ain't it? <laughs> That's right. It's hunt season, baby. Says on the beat, boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause he want a light. Yeah, lights. I've been with midnight through the city. I've been going through some things, trying to get my money right. Push the bucket to the lid. Push that bitch into the fish. Gotta get the full control, gotta get my money right. Yeah, lights. I've been with what's going on cowboys nation it's your boy dmv back with another one and hey it's monday night 49ers went down eagles went down i declare tonight a must win for the dallas cowboys man i i really do and it's the fact that, you know, it's Kellen Moore and you need to make it bigger than what it is. You don't need to make this game bigger than what it is. You just need to walk out with the victory. And, you know, I believe that seasons are marathons, you know what I'm saying? Not sprints. My guy Tuck, who I'm rocking the shirt, by the way, you know what I'm saying? Because the Eagles went down. So I'm definitely rocking the hunt season shirt. Go check out J Tuck, CFO Sports, get you one of those. But... It's a marathon, not a sprint. And this is this, this has been my one, one of my mantras throughout a football season. If you can win three out of four weeks throughout the season, so you separate it into quarters, right? And I know that there's one more uh, game outside of that. But if you can do that, you win at least 12 games. And that leaves you in a position to always make a run if you can win 12 games. So... Dallas dropped their first game in the quarter. So now they got to try and find a way to win the next three, right? It starts tonight. The The Chargers are a team that has been in dogfights, a whole bunch of dogfights. They're a team that's flawed, but they are a team that's going to compete. Um, they're going to have an extra chip on their shoulder with Kellen Moore calling plays. And we just got to go out there and figure out a way to win. I don't, I don't, I don't have much. I don't have a raw, raw speech other than the fact that the 49ers and the Eagles, they really left the door open, all right? You win tonight, you're one game behind them, and you can really just, you know what I'm saying, continue to play. You can really just keep the gap right there. You know what I'm saying? Keep the gap right there because the Eagles are going to run into a tough schedule. The 49ers are getting banged up a little bit, and, and right now is the opportune time, really, to stay under the radar while people don't believe in you. They saw what, what happened with the 49ers game and just continue to win. Just continue to win on the low. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you a team that's been doing it and playing like crap all year. The Kansas City Chiefs have been playing like crap all year. The Taylor Swift stuff is kicking their butt. But you know what they're doing? They're not playing necessarily good football. They had one good week of football for the most part. They're winning games. They're still winning. They're still winning. They're still winning. Any given Sunday, it doesn't matter what it looks like. There's no style points when it comes to winning. Just go out there, compete, put together good game plans, execute, and walk out with a dub, man. And that's what it's about. It's not about Dak Prescott being an elite quarterback. It's not about Tony Pollard going out there and, and trying to prove he's an RB1. Uh, CD Lamb proving that he's the best receiver in the league. It's not about Micah Parsons trying to win the Defensive Player of the Year award and all that type of stuff. Those are the type of things that we got away from our game. But when it's one team, one sound, one band, you know what I'm saying? That's what it's about right now. You let us fans worry about those type of things. But when the players get caught up in the headlines, that's when you get guys out there trying to play hero ball. So go out there, get a W, man. I'm out, y'all. Peace.